Welcome to week number nine of the Ed Hoddle Show as we get ready for game number eight, and they don't get any bigger than this as the Mustangs head up to Pennsylvania to Doylestown to take on the 25th ranked Aggies of Delaware Valley University. I'm James Wyden here with Ed Hoddle after a homecoming victory over Misericordia. And coach, uh, great win over Misericordia. Uh, Misericordia coming in, you know, record two and four, but they were very physical. It was a tough game. Your thoughts on the game? Um, you know, I don't know that we had our best football. Um, I think they came down, they were ready to go. I don't know that we were ready to go. And, um, you know, we were in a dogfight at halftime. And we, we talked about that, you know, during our week of preparation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about it, obviously, again at halftime. And we were able to come out and, you know, put some things together in the second half and, and, and get away with the, the W. And, um, you know, looking forward to Saturday. One of the two, a couple of things in the highlights from the game, obviously, setting two school records, 57 rushes, a team record, Louie. Rushes the ball 43 times. Was that by design or that just kind of was your second half game plan? Um, you know, that was our game plan going in was to, you know, was to run the ball. You know, we, we felt like we could, um, you know, we, we'd had some success in, in weeks prior and, you know, wanted to continue, you know, running the football. And I don't know that we scripted Louie to have 43 carries, um, you know, but he, but he handled it and he, you know, did a nice job all day for sure. And then defensively, obviously, Justin Rutowski was defensive player of the week, had a pick six, two interceptions, including the 65 yard uh, INT to get the score in the second half. Uh, you know, the one touchdown you gave up was on a fumble. Uh, so the defense really gave up 14 points again, you know, have given those low totals up the last couple of weeks. Your thought on the, the play of the defensive unit in the game on Saturday? Um, you know, again, you know, I think they played well. Um, I think we played well at times. I think at times, um, you know, we got lost in some coverages, you know, misfit some runs, did some things that, you know, a little bit uncharacteristic. For us, you know, again, big crowd homecoming, big game the following week. You know, you have every excuse in the world, you know, but we've still got to go out and be the best football team that we can be week in and week out. And, you know, we, we talk openly about those things. And, you know, I think after you know looking at film, guys understand what we need to do to be successful and going to get things fixed up. Now, obviously, this is every game now becomes basically a playoff game. And starting with Delaware Valley, of course, you know, they – had the victory over LVC where they scored late. It's their 50th consecutive conference win. Um, I know I was listening to you talk to the guys after the game and said you're ready to go right now to go up to Doylestown and play the game. Um, you know, what are what are the things you're going to have to do against this Aggie team to be successful? Well, I think if, you know, we've talked in terms of, um, you know, every week's been a playoff week since we played Lev Val. Um, you know, I think you'd have to go back, I want to say, 10 years to the last time the conference champion had two losses. And I think it was actually Lebval in yep. 2013 was the last time you know our conference champion had two losses. Um, so we've kind of been in that, that sort of playoff mode since, you know, we've talked about that, you know, any, any stumbles and we're basically eliminated. So that's not a new, um, new experience for us. And, you know, going up to Doylestown, you know, certainly presents its, its, you know, own set of challenges, you know, it's, it's an overnight trip. Um, you know, they're a good football team. They're well coached and, um, you know, they've won 50 straight. So, you know, our job is to go out and, and again, you know, play our best football game and, um, you know, play hard for 60 minutes and, and, and see what shakes out. What's their what's their strong point? Is it running? Is it, is it passing? What's their strong point? Um, I think they do a lot of things really well. You, you know, they're athletic. They're big. They're physical. I think they can they can pound the rock. I think they can, you know, push the ball down the field a little bit, um, you know, defensively as they always are. They're, you know, incredibly stout defensively. Um, you know, secondary's big, strong, physical linebackers, big, strong, physical D lines, big, strong, physical. Um, you know, so we've got, you know, we've got our hands full for sure. Well, good luck today, coach. Thank you. And that will take it for the Ed Hotto Show for week number nine game there, right? It is Stevenson, Delaware Valley in Doylestown coming up next on GoMustangSports.com. And, of course, we're back home next week as we finish out the two regular season games against Kings. And then Eastern makes the trip to Mustang Stadium. As always, you get all the info at GoMustangSports.com. Thanks for watching, and go Stanks.